Thanks a lot for coming tonight. Thanks a lot for coming to the Nextcloud conference in the first place, but also coming to our special event tonight, which I think is really, really interesting. So this is a day that few of us worked on for quite some time. I think over a year now, in all kinds of different areas, from development to design to hardware to partnerships and so on. So this is a really, really interesting day, and I'm really, really happy that you're all here. So as you know, this is the Nextcloud conference here. So let me talk a little bit about the idea behind Nextcloud. You probably know it already, but the, the idea is that Nextcloud enables everyone to host their own data. So to control your data, to control your communication, to have security here, to really own and protect your data. And you also want to break data silos. So if your data somewhere at a service provider or somewhere at a big company, we really think that you should own your data and you should have the right to get it out. Here we have a picture of our federation concept that we have. So the idea behind Nextcloud is that there's not one central big instance, but there are lots and lots of smaller ones. And they can actually work together. So how do we do this? How do we actually reach millions and millions of users to own their data and have secure communication and, and, and control over their files? We're working on this for many, many years, and there are lots of different um, ways to do it. First of all, we want to make it really easy to install and to set up and to run a Nextcloud instance. So as you know, we provide zip files and tar files and packages and virtual machines and containers and all kinds of things to make it really easy for you to set up your own uh, instance. Another thing, if you don't want to run your own server, another thing we do is we work together with service providers. So if you go to our website, there are already over 20 service providers listed where we can go and get your own Nextcloud. That's really cool. But there's always one idea, one, always one idea floating around. And wouldn't it be great, wouldn't it be great to have a device that you can just like take home with plug and play, install at home, and you have your own local small Nextcloud server? Okay? And I'm really happy, I'm really, 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 really happy <laughs> that we do exactly that today. <laughs> Surprise. So what we're doing tonight is we're launching the next cloud box. So it, it looks like that. It looks like that. It's a really nice little box. It has a hard disk, it has an ARM-based Raspberry Pi, and it has Nextcloud, of course. Okay, this is how it looks like. You have your connectors here. It's actually really um, easy to open. You don't even need screws, so it's a really open platform. It's just held together by magnets. <laughs> Come back to this later. It's really important that this is open, <laughs> okay? Um, so, what exactly is in it? It is, first of all, this contains a pre-configured Nextcloud instance. So if you um, don't know how to set it up, how to configure it, it's all out of the box. It's really plug and play. This is used, this, this should be used by consumers and by enthusiasts. So this is really ready for normal users to run at home. It contains a one terabyte hard disk from Western Digital to restore all your files. It runs Ubuntu with Snappy, obviously a completely open um, operating system that you can do whatever you want with it. It's also very important. It doesn't contain in this version a Raspberry Pi 2. The idea is that you should bring your own. Um, but it's very easy. You just plug it in. Um, everything with magnets is very nice. And the very most important thing, everything is pre-configured and it's really plug and play. So what is the price? I'm really, really happy that this is really affordable with 70 euros. I think this is a really nice price. I'm not sure, I think if you buy the hard disk alone, it might cost the same amount of money. I'm not really sure. But this is really everything you need. The software and the, the nice box and the hard disk and everything um, that you need. 
So when it is available, when it is ready, it's actually available today. So you can buy this here at this conference. So we have lots of them here. You can buy them tonight or later uh, over the weekend. Um, and it's also available online. You can go to nextcloud.com slash box where you can audit online. Okay, so you now you probably ask, have a question in your head. Because earlier Frank told you that we really want to change the world and we want to enable people to own their own data and to control their own communication and have everything secure. So does Frank actually expect that we sell like hundreds of millions of those boxes? Well, we actually expect that we sell a lot of boxes here, but probably not 100 million or more. So what this really is, besides being a consumer device for enthusiasts, this is also a reference design. So this is really important for us. So this is a completely open platform. So everything that runs on this box, everything that what this box is, is fully open source. The next cloud, as, is, as you know, fully open source. This runs Ubuntu and Snappy, also fully open source. All the software that runs on this is actually available on GitHub in our repository. So really completely open, and it's also the reason why we picked the Raspberry Pi 2, because it's the most common um, ARM platform at the moment. So what this is, is a reference design that everybody can take, copy it, improve it, adapt it, sell it, distribute it, do whatever with, uh, you want with it. This is basically a template that we give you and the community to take this and build on top of that. Okay. Obviously, this is only possible with great partners. So obviously, um, we couldn't do this alone. So I'm really happy to have great partners here, which do, who did this together with us. And I want to welcome uh, Jane Silver from Canonical to the stage to talk a little bit about Ubuntu and Snappy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. I'm, I'm impressed that you guys have put on such a strong conference already. I hope everybody had a good day, because you've, you've been working away, toiling away in the heat already today, right? <laughs> was, it, was it a good day? Was it productive? Um, I was really pleased to come here, because projects like this and events like this are part of what make us really excited to make Ubuntu and to keep making it for developers and others. And there's some of us who love operating systems, you know, we, we have to, it's the, it's the foundation of everything we do. But one of the things that's most interesting about operating systems is actually what people like you do on top of it and how you, how you innovate on top of it and the platform that it provides for people to do their work and make other great products. And that's really exciting and that's part of why we're here today and why we were so pleased to work on this project with Nextcloud and Western Digital Lab. Um, it may it may look easy of putting some slides up, but I think Frank and others will attest to the fact that a lot of hard work has gone into this for many months to make it come to fruition. Um, and it is just the beginning. I would echo the comments that it is a chance to build and improve and innovate on top of it. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna speak again tomorrow, so I'm not gonna go into to too much detail because you'll, you'll get tired of hearing me say the same things tonight and, and tomorrow. I want everybody bright and eager for the morning, and I also know that you're ready for, for beers tonight. But <laughs> one of the things that we're doing, you probably know Ubuntu beyond just the lanyards around your neck. I expect you know it from uh, use in this cloud or on servers or on your developer uh, desktop or laptop itself. We also more recently have been doing a lot of IoT work. The, the, as developers use Ubuntu and as that innovation happens at the maker developer area, uh, Ubuntu is pulled into that IoT field and it is a great fit there. Although there are things that we wanted to improve as we look at what's happening in that IoT space, when we look particularly at the operations demands around devices um, that are connected to the internet with that. At, at scale without a user interface for many of them. The issues of updating them, of keeping them secure, of maintaining them provides all sorts of new challenges for the operating system and for any applications on top of it. 
Even without IoT, you all will know that there's, there's already challenges in a platform distribution uh, system like we've had for many years. As apps evolve more quickly and want to put out updates more often than a platform distribution maybe can handle. Um, Frank talked about giving users control of their data. We, as, a, as an operating system and a platform, want to give developers control of their apps and allow, allow application developers to update their apps on the cycle that they, that they deem appropriately, but also do that in a safe, secure way that can be maintained reliably for users. And that's what's behind the snappy architecture that we talk about. That's part of Ubuntu core which is a snap-based version of Ubuntu. Um, and it is part of what's behind the sn application snaps, of which Nextcloud has one. It's all aimed at enabling agility for application developers, for device manufacturers, for, for um, silicon vendors, and a secure, reliable environment for end users. So we'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow. Um, I think you all should be very proud of the, of the box that's being announced tonight. Um, even if it was a grand surprise for you, I'm sure nobody read any of the press today. <laughs> and everybody was surprised. Um, but it really is, it really is a, a, a really interesting piece of hardware. I'm super excited about seeing what gets done with it. I think Nextcloud is fantastic. I also think it'll be fantastic to see what else people put on top of the boxes and what sort of device it evolves into in people's homes. Um, and, and we're happy to provide the, the foundation to make that happen and uh, look to you to provide the, the spark of genius to see what it turns into. So thank you. Thank you, Jane. Thanks a lot. I can really say that so it was a pleasure and honor to work together with, with you and your engineers to make this happen. This was it's a really success story. Um, but of course, we also um, need some hardware partner to make a box happen. So I want to introduce to the stage uh, Cho Lee, um, head of global operations from Western Digital Labs, to talk a little bit about our nice hardware here. Thank you, thank you everyone. Um, I'm just really super excited to be here. Um, I mean, you know, this is a wonderful partnership, you know, with uh, Nextcloud and uh, Canonical uh, to bring, you know, a, a wonderful uh, hardware uh, to go along with the wonderful you know, OS and the, uh, uh, the software. So um, when we heard of a, about this uh, opportunity, we, we just felt like this is, a, you know, naturally a great fit. Um, I mean, um, the, uh, I mean, we're, uh, as you guys know, we make, you know, millions and millions of hard drives. And, um, um, you know, um, and uh, in the last year or so, uh, we have been focusing on, you know, non-traditional PC uh, industry. So, you know, here you see WD Labs here. Um, you think that might be a, you know, huge organization, but we're really not. Uh, we're a uh, small uh, business uh, technology incubation group uh, consisting about 20 or so people. And uh, of which, which uh, three of us are really dedicated to a uh, small, uh, uh, you know, SPC small board computer computer uh, business or, uh, or the field. So, um, you know, we we got engaged, uh, and and you know, we we had um, some of the products uh, accessories that were already in development, and we were actually uh, selling them, you know, uh, through our e-commerce site. Um, so it was just a natural fit to just you know put everything together to you know support this project. So um, sorry, <laughs> should I just went to the next page? But uh, so um, you know um, basically, I mean Frank kind of explained you know what this hardware is about. So I won't bore you with the details. But um, um, you know we have the uh, the cable um, you know like over here. Um, where it can connect to the hard drive as well as to the Raspberry Pi and also uh, powers both the Raspberry Pi board and the, and, the, uh, and the hard drive. So it eliminates the uh, need for, you know, having like two separate power supplies to, you know, uh, power, you know, both devices. And so we just, you know, have everything kind of uh, packaged neatly. Um, you know, it's, uh, 
you know, uh, you know, as Frank mentioned, you know, it can be easily opened and closed with a magnetic, um, you know, um, um, you know, enclosure. And uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. So here's what it looks like inside. There's, that's a real, you know, sample there. Um, so. You know, you got this uh, cable I was talking to you about um, that, you know, uh, connects the, uh, the hard drive to the uh, Raspberry Pi and also powers the uh, Raspberry Pi and, and the drive uh, with uh, one single uh, USB charger. Um, and, um, and also uh, we're providing with the uh, preloaded um, uh, micro SD card, okay? So you, most of you probably heard that uh, Western Digital has uh, purchased SanDisk about six to nine months ago, I, you know, can't quite remember which day it was, but uh, so we're, you know, uh, we can provide uh, all different storage solutions from hard drive to uh, SD cards to, um, you know, flash drives to SSD now. So, you know, we're able to, uh, uh, you know, put all that together and preload the software on the uh, micro SD card. So it's really a, a true uh, turnkey system. So all you have to do is just, you know, uh, by this box as a set, and then you know just plug it in, and it'll just you know uh, auto install, and you know just you know so it's a seamless operation. So yeah, like I said, you know we're you know super excited uh, you know about uh, this product, and you know being partnering with uh, you know great company like uh, Nextcloud. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Um, so now I want to um, basically ask to give a big applause to everyone here, and there are a lot of people in this room here, from, from design to packaging over there, to everybody who helped to make this happen. So um, this is really great achievement. So awesome team, thanks a lot.